okay as I don't have huge amount of LM2 remaining I wanted to give my very best E8600 yet another go on LN2 especially for SuperPi 32M as uh, it would be very awesome to break the 7 minute barrier with this CPU model uh, and many people have wanted to uh, see it to be honest so uh, uh, on the previous attempt like earlier this summer I really pushed hard the uh, CPU Z core frequency validation as well as SuperPi 32M but I had some issues and I only managed to do one run at 6.76 gigahertz or so. Uh, I'm not fully sure was the issue uh, CPU related or motherboard related. Uh, on those attempts I used my uh, uh, Rambate Extreme which I purchased from Japan which I consider uh, probably my best Rambate Extreme but on at least on ambient based cooling the Team Finland edition Rampage Extreme can do much better on the memory. So I will do this attempt with the Team Finland edition Rampage Extreme which is also very awesome. 710 FSP by SF3D on hardwarebot.org and very easy 2200 MEMS on ambient cooling with low north bridge voltage and so on. So let's see what happens. So uh, the rig is otherwise pretty much the same. F1 dark CPU container from KimpingCooling.com with KPX thermal paste, NVIDIA 6500GT just to display the monitor signal with capture card of course, two sticks of Corsair Dominator GTX2 memory binned by Samo CX or Tapacar, and Superflower Lidex 8 pack 2000 watt platinum rated power supply. So uh, I will uh, start straight away in server 2003, really try to fine tune everything and try to get the efficiency correct and I really hope that we can get some stable runs because it usually just crashed somewhere around loop 5. So uh, if you ask me the CPU should be able to do uh, 6.8 and maybe a bit over 6.8 in SuperPi 32M based on the W prime uh, and PyFast results. But yeah let's see what happens. So I'll start going and uh, we'll see what happens. So uh, I'll start cooling down. I still haven't made the uh, tapping modifications on the CPU container so it takes some time to cool down the container. So uh, I'll uh, cut off that part from the video and I will meet you again with the capture card in the operating system. Okay, that took me a lot of attempts, and I that and I really mean a lot. Maybe like 40 liters of liquid nitrogen. But um, if you look carefully, you can see from the get-go that the efficiency is very good. Only 6.7. Previous run was spot on seven minutes at 6.761. So this is 60 megahertz lower frequency, lower memory, but better timings. I really figured this out so I really had to practice a lot six minutes 59.453 oh I just can't believe it I managed to improve the 32m once again so now well below 7 minutes, 6 minutes 56.484 So this is pretty much like spot on 3 second uh, improvement uh, Now at 6.75, memory at 2160 And trust me there are some heavy tweaks and fine tuning regarding this score So this is huge So I still have maybe a few liters remaining. I can still do one more attempt, I guess. Pretty, pretty awesome. <laughs> okay, so I just changed the uh, CPU Z version. I really want to try the max uh, FSP for this motherboard as it's on uh, ambient based cooling. It will be tough. The 710 is the highest FSP on Rampage Extreme by. SF3D. I have that motherboard over here and we hang. Okay, 
705. Okay, so I just checked the uh, folders and I actually managed to validate both uh, 705 ish and 710. So now I have pretty much nearly the same uh, score on the reference uh, frequency for Rampage Extreme on hardwarebot.org with SF3D. So he's a tiny bit over as his score was like 710.3. Mine is just flat 710. Sadly, I didn't try to post and boot 711 directly from the BIOS because for some reason I couldn't overclock. As you could see, I couldn't overclock uh, in the OS at all. It would just hang very, very quickly. It was easiest to use the keyboard to navigate to CPU-Z, press enter, open it, click and F7 and it worked twice. So I can definitely get the validation if I want to for the highest reference frequency. But of course it's kind of yes and no, like is it worth it? But it's definitely motherboard limited because uh, it needs very high north bridge voltage to be able to post and boot 710, like 1.9 volts. That's very, very high, as you can imagine. And I would at least feel a lot safer to boot such voltages when the north bridge is running quite cool on LN2, uh, that is. But anyway, so I actually got what I was looking for. I got the uh, sub 7 minute run in SuperPi 32 amp twice. I almost gave up completely because it just didn't want to run. First I tried the Team Finland edition Rampage Extreme, very hard time, six, 670 FSP and so on. And uh, I really couldn't get it. I, it, would, it, would, it would always just crash within the first six or seven loops when I tried to run between 6.7 and 6.78. But then what I realized was that when I just kept pushing the memory, going tighter and tighter on the timings, it kind of felt that it started behaving like uh, more normal, like it actually liked those very tight sub-timings. So it actually felt a lot more stable when I really went tight on the sub-timings at those given frequencies at like 6.7 and then 6.75 and I was actually uh, doing like loop six, loop six, loop seven at 6.8 at around 2200 mems. I think even 6.8 is possible, but that needs a lot of time. I pretty much wasted around 50 liters of LN2 just on these scores, these 32M and valid, uh, validation scores. Uh, I think the first 32M result was, uh, it was somewhere close to six minutes, 59 point five seconds and then the second run the real run was six minutes 56.484 seconds that is definitely a result that will last a lifetime i'm pretty confident that i will not see uh, many people getting past that score because you really have to do a lot of work you need to bin motherboard spin memory bin cpus heavily and really know everything about the overall platform and how to run the bench like uh, top-notch operating system and everything so uh, very happy so uh, that was the last score I wanted to do with the E8600 as I wanted to say so the score is definitely dedicated to Tapaka Samo CX hopefully we will see you again in the overclocking scene someday because you want for some reason you wanted to sell all of your gear I think it's a good moment to come back there's a very nice score on the leaderboard you can try to beat. But yeah, just kidding. But yeah, so uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Hopefully everything is still alive and well when I get things like dried and hopefully the motherboard is okay. This board is definitely better all around than uh, the Team Finland Rampage Extreme, if you ask me, a lot more straightforward. But even this one, it's very, very buggy on the North Bridge when you really want to run high memories, etc. So it needs a lot of practice. But yeah, so the 32M score is already uploaded on hardwarebot.org as well as the uh, reference frequency validation. So uh, I will link both of those scores in the description box of this video. Definitely check them out if you are interested in these results. And yeah, otherwise just give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. 
maybe check out my Patreon page as well if you want to support my work. And yeah, thanks for watching some of my legacy overclocking content once again. And I will see you on the next one.